Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath SamFX YouTube channel, and this is Mi 11X. I have here a Poco F3 or Redmi K40. This is a Mi 11X, and lineage was version 19.1. You can see here 2022 8.4. It's an unofficial build, and Android version is 12 here, and baseband version and uh, Android security patch is 5th July 2022. I know it's an uh, September month now. But I have researched certain ROMs. I already tested Carvos OS also, the latest one, and I found very simple ROM and basic ROM for Mi 11X as a daily driver. And I found this and how it will be. I'll be explaining in detail. Stay tuned till end of the video. And you can see here the build date is August 4th. It's an latest build available as of now. There is no other build. Maybe very soon we get the September build. I don't know, but it's an unofficial state. And I have been running CPU throttling just from 10 minutes and 10 seconds and 1 milliseconds. You can see up to 9 minutes it's fine later it getting throttled and even after 2-3 minutes also it's getting throttled. What this means? This is just an app review, it's not complete review here. But you can get an idea here the maximum is 231 and average is 196 and minimum is 156 million JPS and it's throttled to 72% of its max performance. Here itself you can notice there is a throttling going on i mean 72 percent is big number here and this is the cpu throttling test and even in general day-to-day -day usage also i have noticed some throttling it's not the complete solution as of now but i want to switch to some other rom but i want to like experience this ui and i want to show you guys how it is maybe in upcoming build or the official build whatever they release might be a little bit better i haven't tried any gaming just tried call of duty and i was playing pubg news trade in this particular room it was fine but it's not completely like a gaming rom or anything like that the performance based rom is not this one you need to consider that and uh, some of the reviews like benchmark results like you can see here geekbench scores and i will be reviewing all the mi 11x custom roms very soon i am trying some of the older roms and uh, whenever the new releases happen i will definitely cover them you can see here single score is 788 and multi score is 2365 and linux 4.19.246 no kernel has been used here this is new kernel i am reading here if you are familiar then it's fine this is how the scores and the interface is smooth enough and this is the settings you can see here in security options you get just uh, face unlock and fingerprint unlock both are fine and app lock also you can use that uh, encryption credentials most of the ROMs for Mi 11x are encrypted I don't know why it's a little bit difficult for me to flashing the ROMs because this phone don't have SD card slot that's the big thing for me I thought after flashing the ROMs few ROMs on Mi 11x I thought why would I bought this smartphone without SD card that was the case here and if I go into settings and show you sound settings you can see here all the basic sound settings are given here clear speaker option is given vibrate on connect call waiting disconnect is given touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable some of the sounds also you can enable or disable from here notifications you get all the basic settings enhanced notifications are also given those things are fine here you can actually check out the battle lifts it's quite good here you can see screen time of 5 hours 9 minutes it was not recharged you can check out here it was around 100 percent is now 63 percent which is pretty good this is the only thing i found helpful in this particular rom that is the battery life and charging speeds let me show you i have tried multiple times using this 33 watt charger you get fast charging support here as you can see it will show charging rapidly later okay takes a little bit of time guys directly don't go into higher wattage here i tried multiple times using this charger 33 watt charger and i also use 10 watt charger randomly i keep charging both 33 watt and 10 watt charger the experience with this ui is really good as you can see i have installed phone pay payment applications let me show you safety net status 
if it is get passed you can use all the payment applications as you can see i am using phone pay and everything i done transactions and everything no problem regarding that if you have any doubt like custom roms is it secure or not no not really not even a custom rom not even a basic rom or stock rom it depends upon you guys security is not in the custom rom or any rom it depends upon your passwords and all keep it secure then it will be best enough to secure yourself at least and once you are on internet forget about privacy it will happen that sharing some of the data might happen not with the rom maybe some of the apps that you need to keep in mind and you get music app here you can use that and calculate all google apps here lineage is a little bit of weak version of lineage is this is i found many lineage versions in some of the i will review poco x3 custom rom and even the redmi note 7 pro i have been reviewing custom roms from past three years you can check out my channel and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and dialer is also fine here i tried direct video call feature those are also working fine no problem regarding that i want to try android benchmark but it's not in play store and drm info you get level one certification you can watch all the ott application in hd resolution that also fine here what can i say here audio effects is there because you won't get any dolby atmos here that's available in the curvus os it was a little bit better compared to this one and the pill also you can see here it is distinguished between the actual screen some of the roms what they happen is it will be a little lesser and it is embedded in the screen it is not visible but that is not the case here into system and there are some customization status bar gestures and system profiles and there are customization live transcribe also there if you go into gestures and swipe to screenshot and one handed mode those are working fine as you can see it's a little bit hard it's kept in the this one handed mode turned off actually okay now it will be easy as you can see that's the one handed mode and system navigation if you go into gesture navigation and pill length as you can see this is the one thing I always require. Pill length should be their option here and height also if they give that would be better. And dark theme also I found really helpful here. It's in pitch black condition. Let me go here and show you the display and dark theme. And the display size I kept small because the icons were too much. I mean arranged with a lot more gap you can see right now also it's arranged a lot more gap if you keep default it will be a lot more gap and big in size i really don't like it and dark theme you can see here enable that and there is a theme colored pitch black condition this is very important for me if this wasn't there i would have switched right away after flashing the rom as you can see it's in pitch black condition these two things are very important for me at least in aosp type of custom roms for redmi note 11 sorry mi 11x or redmi k40 or poco f3 and you can see here advanced restart button is also available and this is the qs panel i found really helpful and which is smooth enough i tried plenty of roms and this i found little bit smoother especially in qs panel i hope i explained everything guys and these are the recent apps and you get all the android 12 style here it is not light what i expected it's a little bit heavier so not as heavy as some of the custom roms like more customization but still it wasn't a light rom as previous lineage versions i hope i explained everything and stay tuned to my channel you will get a lot more reviews on custom roms we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now